Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome to Styx Shards of Darkness. This is a stealth game where you play as a goblin and this is the second game in the series. The first one was Master of Shadows and uh, it was pretty much universally liked I believe. I think that everyone liked it as a stealth game. Unfortunately it's a stealth game so not too popular but uh, we lack stealth games. There's just, we need more. We need more. And Styx 2, this game, beautiful. And I passed it completely, played all of it, and we're gonna go through each one of the missions again. And I'm gonna show, showcase all of the abilities, all of the options that you have, and uh, all of the things that you can do. So, we have the inventory, you have different daggers that you can have. I'm not gonna go in, into details as to what each dagger does and how it all works. But basically all of them have bonuses and pen penalties the same way as the clothes does as well. Al Alchemist Toolbox, Prisoner's Outfit, Akanesh Outfit, Tobin Jerkin. So I'm using the Alchemist Toolbox because it allows me to craft anything anywhere. Usually you need to use the crafting benches. And uh, there's a lot of other things as well. We have the ability to craft things as well. We can craft the bolt over here, the Acid solution. And I have all of it everywhere. And over here you have the skills. Now the skills, you have five different types of skills. The stealth, kill, alchemy, perception, and cloning. And uh, they're all pretty simple. You know, I it didn't really take a long time to get all of them. You just need to pass the game once and you have most of them. If you pass it with enough points, I try to be stealthy and I try to collect as, man as many points as I could. And I still lack a couple of them to fill up the killing portion because there's a, a few different ways to uh, to kill. You have the dodges, the predation, kind of want this one. And of course the ultimate skill you need the uh, pure quartz. Seeing as Styx is a very greedy bastard, this game focuses on quartz. Very very valuable stuff. And uh, you gotta collect a couple of those. You have You have those options as a secondary mission within your missions so we're gonna go ahead and uh, play the prologue there's 10 missions takes about 15 hours to, to complete and we are gonna play the prologue starting from the start of course prologue the city of thieves for several decades the people of the empire have been fighting to stem the invasion of goblins the green plague to contain this scourge scour scourge scourge that's the word scourge i try to say this word seven times but scourge is the word the humans have created squads specialized in the extermination of goblins, the carnage. But it takes more than that to worry Styx, who now lives in the shadow of the human village Tobin, a slum populated by crooks of all kinds and stuck in the middle of the swamps. His talents have earned him some renown and an old scoundrel named Ephron has recently contacted him for a tailor-made job, stealing the caskets containing the guards' pay. It's been a while since I've been in this part of the globe. There's nothing left standing. Gone, beat it, Rakash. Can't stand staring at your stupid face any longer. <laughs> Here we are, within the game. Let us go. This is the Amber Vision. Most stealth games have some sort of special vision. Switch out the light, kitties, or little meanie sticks will come and eat you. <laughs> if I screw up, it's either squishy on the rocks or a dose of death by drowning. But I ain't the screwing up type. Yep. So compared to the first game, it is rather uh, similar in many aspects. Now don't do that. Jump up. Quite similar. You could say it's the same game, just more refined. And it kind of worked better. See, especially this ledge. You can hold down R2 to hang off the ledge. In the first game, it was quite difficult to hang off the ledge. You tended to uh, die very, very easily. Quite a bit of an improvement when it comes to that. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do too many things in the game, other than uh, you know dying sometimes. Is that your controller in your pocket? Are you just pleased to yeah, see? Yeah, every me? every time you die, there is a well, well, a loading screen where sticks uh, behaves very rudely towards you. As a character, Styx is awesome. One of the best characters ever. Yeah, I kinda tried to use a shortcut. 
didn't work out. Can get up here. See, there's many different paths that you can take, many different ways of doing things. And that is amazing in a stealth game. You have the ability to do all sorts of things, and verticality is quite important as well. You're able to climb up, go down, you know, left and right, go all over the place. Okay, I don't need to pick up anything because I have everything. Thank you. You can also swing on a rope. Mm -hmm. Swing it is swing. It took me a while to learn how to swing on the rope. You just need to hold, you know, the forward button. I thought that you would need to swing it back and forth. But there is no need to do that. Begun training recruits. Well, this is gonna be short and sweet. How long will two against one take them? Here we go. Now, wait a second. Did I place Goblin difficulty? Yes, I have. So I am playing on Goblin difficulty. The Master difficulty is impossible. It's insane. I don't know how people play on that difficulty. It's absolutely crazy. There is no way I can play it. So we are going to play on Goblin difficulty. So what we can do here is we can uh, get our, our clone. So with the clone, I'm going to kill this guy. The clone is going to distract this guy. Just distract, you don't need to blow up. No, 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 no. No, no, Oh, he, he killed the... God damn it, he killed my beautiful little... Alright, it's fine. It's fine, you're now gonna suffer the wrath of the second little guy, boom, goodbye. Here we go. Okay, that was a little bit sloppy, I will admit. Well, you know, it, it ended up fine, alright. Fine. Shut up. Shut up. It's fine. Let's see what's happening over here. Yeah, nice one. I was sure to disappear since the fall of Akinash. Me too. We'll make a ton of money out of it. I hope you've stashed it somewhere safe. Of course. What do you take me for? I hid it in the old secret room. Huh. The one behind the bookcase. Where's the second guy? Just shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> I mean, I am supposed to tear down these posters, but I already tore down all of them, so I don't really get anything if I do it. Over here we can use the clone to create a distraction. We could do that. We get the clone all the way over here. Create a diversion. What I could also do is... Do this. Why did it not? I thought that he would explode. He's supposed to explode. Looks usable. With a few raw materials, I should be able to put together some nasty surprises. Yeah, and this is the crafting bench. This is where you can craft if you want to. Over here, the dude is eating, and we can poison the food by poisoning the food. He's gonna die without much effort, which is pretty cool. Gotta admit, pretty cool. But I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna jump over the counter and stab him. And then we can hide him as well. Now the point of the... The most amount of points that you can get in the game is by not doing anything. By just avoiding everyone and everything and doing everything very, very quickly. It's my lucky day. The casket distribution. And I can tell you that that's not easy. See if there's something useful around here. It's definitely not easy avoiding the murder. Because it's just satisfying to kill them. But later you you even can't kill them. You know, it's not possible to kill them because they have heavy armor. So you need to use items in the world, distractions and the different things to to try to kill them. I don't really need this amber because I have all of it. There are two guys here. It can be murdered. Just gotta be careful. 
we place the acid trap and get this guy. Then I'm gonna try to blow up both of them. I should be able to do that. He's gonna go on the other side. And then blow him up, and both of them exploded. Nice. See? Both of them exploded into acid. And I don't even need to hide them. Beautiful. Let's go, let me just tear this down. Attacking, reaping, neutralizing, and annihilating all goblins got to, to be here. eradicated. C-A-R-N-A-G-E. <sighs> Crappy name. I must have been paying the guy who wrote it by the letter. They're really scraping the barrel if they're recruiting here in the shit of Phoban. Calling the scum that live around here. If they come on the goblins, just the right moment, they can Boom! <laughs> and over here... Lie and... Oh! Stab him, Roger! Stab the bastard! Beautiful. Beautiful! I like killing them by jumping on their face. It's very goblin-like. Reach the tavern. We got two guys here. Should be able to kill both of them with the explosion. <laughs> there we go, both of them. That is one of the, the best clone abilities. You know, having him blow up. Ah, the silver goblet. It used to be the best bar in this part of Thoban. Looks like the change of owner has brought in some not so fresh faces. Yep. And down here we have a guy and we can push this down and kill him. It dissolves in acid. Quite nice. And we can also use pocket sand to distract them. At least partially. Goblins are all the same, but it means we can blame him for everything that goes wrong around here. Sounds about right. Those filthy parasites are a pain in the ass, and there's too many of them. Filthy parasites. Oh no, he saw me. Fucking shit. Yes, yes. He's also breaking the fourth wall sometimes. Sticks with his comments. That is very cool. I like. I really like when in games, when games don't really take themselves too seriously. You can also booby trap. After a bit of sabotage, the bell. this will really be the death knell bell. <laughs> <laughs> so our only goal is collect the money. That's that's the only thing that we gotta do. Everything else is completely irrelevant. He got the pay. And now we can continue and do something else. Go over here. Just push him. Push him a little bit. Yeah, it's, I'm very sorry. But sometimes... Bad stuff happens to good people. Guards pay over here. So this guy is here, but we're gonna go all the way up. Swiftness silver. I don't have swiftness on any of the missions. I don't think so. I mean, the game requires you to be very, very quick if you want the golden swiftness uh, reward. Where's the dude? The dude is here, and we can just detach this and kill him. Once he comes close enough. To Anybody there? No, no, please, no. No, no. <sighs> it's important it. to save often because you are gonna die often and make a lot of mistakes and a lot of shitty things are gonna happen and you're gonna get very irritated. That's what happened to me. But this is that type of a game where you really can't afford to fuck up too many times because you're just gonna stop playing the game and it's just gonna ruin the experience. So it's important to uh, to be chill about the entire thing. I could kill him, but uh, you can also drop down on, on carpets, on rugs. 
and be very, very silent about it. Nobody's gonna hear ya. Nobody's gonna hear ya. And nobody's gonna hear his screams either. Sliced. Take the guards. Take the guards, pay. Thank you. And you can be hidden right here. You gotta unlock this. You gotta use lockpicks. You can craft lockpicks to unlock doors. And I think that they are very important lockpicks. I like them quite a bit. Or maybe it's just a, a side effect of playing too much Fallout and picking locks all day and all night. We can go over here and across. See, like I said, you have like seven different ways of uh, getting to one uh, spot, which is absolutely amazing. In a stealth game, that is very important. That the game gives you options how to do things and that most of those options are reasonably stealthy. We can do this. This guy is gonna leave. We can take the guard's pay and leave. Stupid goblins don't know from the good things in life. Seems heavier than the others. Oh. Do this, excellent, and now we can flee. And that is basically the mission. Uh-oh. Oh, you didn't see shit. You didn't see shit, bro. Alright. I don't think I was supposed to. Yeah, this is not a good spot. <laughs> Come on, dude, go away. God damn it, this spot sucks. Just collect this and then go on the other side. A little bit awkward. That's true. This guy goes over here and I go out the window. Excellent. And now we can go up. Very nice. And we can flee on the other side. There is a lot of these things, a lot of spaces that you can visit and uh, a lot of rooms that you can visit. We can hear many stories about things. So, for example, over here. I hear that Ambassador Arcidi's airship is on his way. What? Didn't he restock just a few weeks ago? That's right, he did. That's the second time this month. There must be something going on for him to be back again. Maybe he's... <laughs> Farewell, motherfuckers. I'm gonna leave the zone and fuck you all. Farewell. That's the prologue. You can uh, speed run through the game in about, probably in about an hour and a half. Although each mission should take about two hours if you take your time. Okay, mission completed. Got some nice points. 15 points for the swiftness because I was never this fast before. And each mission has side quests, each mission has the ability, well, not each, but some, some missions uh, give you the ability to collect items, like daggers and uh, gear. I know that there is a cloak of invisibility that I wasn't able to get in one of the missions. I think it's in the seventh or eighth mission. So it's very cool. You know, the, each mission gives you these side quests that uh, kind of force you to explore the map further. And that is very cool. I like that very much. But this was the first mission, the prologue, so make sure to let me know would you like to see more. It was very simple, you know, nothing too complicated within the mission, very easy. And the difficulty wasn't that, you know, high in reality, because the prologue is more like a tutorial. But uh, other missions are difficult, they can get very difficult, especially on Goblin and Master difficulty. So make sure to let me know would you like to see more. How do you like sticks, shards of darkness? And uh, I will see you next time. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your back.